We are on our way to Cambridge to visit a man called Charles Swithinbeck. Actually, I think, we're, I think I've just found it on my phone. I think it's just further down here. I think it's straight on. Dr. Swithenbank has spent more than 30 seasons in Antarctica. He's one of the world's foremost glaciologists and a walking encyclopedia of Antarctic wisdom. He also has one of the largest image libraries of the route that we'll be taking in Antarctica, particularly the area of the Bidmore Glacier. The Beardmore Glacier was first discovered by Ernest Shackleton on his 1908 Nimrod expedition. It's one of the largest glaciers in the world with a length of over 100 miles. The glacier is the gateway through the Transantarctic Mountains and onto the Polar Plateau. It has a steep upward incline that reaches an elevation of over 8,000 feet, nearly 2,500 meters. The glacier is a labyrinth of bare ice, crevasses, pressure ridges and ice falls. On Captain Scott's return from the South Pole during the descent of the glacier, Petty Officer Edgar Evans fell into a deep crevasse, sustaining a fatal concussion to the head. To complete the expedition and Captain Scott's route, we will need to navigate our way up and down the Beardmore Glacier in temperatures as low as minus 40 degrees centigrade. 